EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Just a short time ago, smoke from the pyrotechnics filled the dome as the Colts made their way out of the locker room. We're set for football as the Colts get set to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. And it takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. At their own 26-yard line. Naeem Hines, his first carry. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. That's into the hands of Pascal. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Brings up third and one. And just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Now the first carry from Marlon Mack. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also moved the sticks. Defense had a chance to get off the field here. The opening drive couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. Rivers on the money complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A, gain of, a really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. The toss here completed to Pittman. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't I, seem to I didn't want offer it. Mine. You, know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though it's working really well Micah Kaiser. Micah Kaiser was in on the tackle I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker what that means is his ability to read react and make a play but on that one he looked like one of those guys on second down now it's Hines, and here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. It's been a seven play opening drive, and this is third and short. Rivers. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Blanket Ships kick is good. And the Colts hit the scoreboard first. It's 3-0. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board.
Rigoberto out Sixth is the game. kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. On the return, it's Simba Webster. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Now the first carry for Cam Akers. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. A perfect example right there, Charles, of why they love this rookie runner. And think about how the NFL and the college games are meshing together more and more. You don't have to go to the NFL and learn a new set of skills. What you did in college often makes you ready for the NFL. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. A good first down call as the screenplay gets him nine. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the Colts' 47-yard line. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Colts three, Rams nothing. Here's a run with Akers on second down. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and one, and people wanted to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. On first down, they'll stay with Akers on the ground. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. By DeForest Buckner. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. On second down, Akers. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down at the Colts 36. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. You'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. And for the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. A shotgun snap for Goff. Man, open, it's Cup. He's got it. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. A Ram first down as Goff finds Cup. From the gun, here's Goff. He'll throw complete to Cam Akers. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Goff going to give this one to Henderson. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down at the Colts 17. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chain. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll run here with Akers. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Darius Leonard blew that play up. Now a run with Akers. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Taken down. Give him five yards there, and it'll bring up second down. Up second down.
second and seven. Golf. This will be caught at about the six. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Back to throw. Goff. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. Robert Woods from Jared Goff. And the Rams have taken the lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Man, this is up and good to make it 7-3. Makes the score Rams 7, Colts 3. Matt Gay. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Rodgers on the return. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it. when. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Aaron Donald, give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. And a throw for Pittman is intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And he'll bring it back to the nine-yard line. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. At the nine. After the interception, here's Goff. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He was in search of his tight end, Tyler Higby. But it'll be second and goal. Partner, this is almost an unwinnable spot for a defense. They have to come right out for a first and goal trying to stop him. But let me hold on a second. Let me take that back real quick. They can win here if they force a field goal try. Still a long ways away from that happening, but that has to be what they're thinking right now. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Read it well, and it's picked. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They begin the drive with Hines. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Final play of the half, Rivers. He'll get this one to Pittman. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. So we've reached intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, on the return comes Webster. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. On the return. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Through the interception in the red zone, costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? And the ball on the 30, here's second and four. 
Out of the gun. Gone. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. They'll run this with Akers. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 44, Goff. Open man, Higby, the tight end. Goss, Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. From the gun on third down, gone. This pass complete to Reynolds. And he is going to have a Rams first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Now that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. They'll go again here with Akers. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Back-to-back -to -back stops, make it third and ten. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Throwing on third, gone. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Credit the sack to the Oregon Duck to Forrest Buckner. That would be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. Here's Johnny Hacker now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. Six-yard line. Rivers on first down. That's complete to Jack Doyle, the tight end. And they'll get him down up past the 15. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. They'll run on first down with Marlon Mack, and he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Throwing on second and eight, Rivers. And his throw here is incomplete. He was looking for his running back, Naheem Hines. But now it's third down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. 
So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the gun, Rivers. The pass underneath, here's Hines with it. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. He was looking for Jack Doyle that time. That'll bring up second down. Another incompletion with that one. He's just 7 of 14 throwing the football. 50% typically not going to get it done, is it? And let's just make it simple. And that's exactly why they trail. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. To throw again. Rivers taken in by the tight end, Doyle. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. First down, Rivers. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. Well, the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it upfield, and that brings up second down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. A play fake to Mack, now Rivers. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. But nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. And that sack leaves Rivers and the Colts with a third and long. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Looking deep for Hilton. And it's intercepted. Troy Hill picks it. And he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at the 45. Scoring has really been at a premium. And Charles, you got to tip your cap to this defense coming in here. Their offense, too, but this whole team coming in here on the road, getting a hard-fought win. I think the way that they're finishing this one up, an exclamation point on a terrific game. As you noted, hard for them to put points on the board, and they hold them down one more time and finalize things. Going right back to Akers. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Here's Goff. And that is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for L.A. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. The, the Indy offense at the line and set to go. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. T.Y. Hilton, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. But a 
apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten. And nowhere to get away. Rivers is dropped. A loss of 12 brings up third down. Get him, boys. Yeah, that's how we do, D. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Operating from the gun. Rivers, he's going to let it fly. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by John Johnson. That he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Rivers. On the right side, it's Hilton with a catch. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. I tell you, it has not been his best day throwing the football. He really needs to piece something together here. All will be forgiven if he leads him into the end zone. Clock running here under 90 seconds to go. Back to throw. Out to the right and complete to Pittman. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A well-executed 22-yard gain. And we've reached the one-minute mark in this game. From the red zone now, Rivers. He's got Jack Doyle. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. The interception last drive there, he hits the reliable target. They'll look to throw. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You having to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. He'll look to throw. Yeah, he's got it. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. 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 I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Point after, right down the middle. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. That'll be taken about a yard deep. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you get a decision. Are you in field goal range or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. Goff. He'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. They go ahead and snap it, gone. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And they don't get the reception, incomplete. So now they're down to 17 seconds remaining. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. A kneel down here from Rivers, and that should be it. Today's final score. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium. That certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defense. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Colts are winners as we say so long from Indianapolis.